everybody, my name is Andrew Hexlin. I'm over at Kmart right now, and check this out, you guys. Um, check this out. Um, I just found a brand new book from this, uh, I think it's a book cover, or I'm not sure what it's called, but anyways, I found it there. You could see that, but anyways, it's a brand new book. I found the same book at Walmart, it's called Tools of the Trade, and it's from the brand new movie The Dark Knight Rises. Um, it's pretty cool, actually. Um... I forgot to tell you guys that a lot of kids will, um, a lot of kids will actually really like Batman, and they'll really love this book, as far as I could tell, because Batman is a pretty popular character, if you do ask me, and so, because of the new movie, um, you know, I think Scholastic Books actually made some I Can't Read 2 series, uh, books for Batman, and they've actually made I Am Bane, uh, what else, um, Batman vs. Catwoman, the same Tools of the Trade, and other uh, books based on the movie. But anyways, I'm just gonna um, let you all guys take a look at this brand new, uh, at this brand new uh, Scholastic uh, publishing book called I Can Read 2 series, Tools of the Trade, from The Dark Knight Rises. You can see the Batman logo breaking right there, pretty cool actually, and Batman's on his bat pod. Just show you what's inside. I'll actually read this for you right now, so anyways, let's see. I am Batman. My secret lair is the Batcave. It is my headquarters, my lab, and my training room. Only my closest friend and loyal butler, Alfred, knows where it is. To fight crime, I need to have the most high-tech equipment. For that, I depend on Lucius. He works for Wayne Enterprises. Lucius created the Batsuit and all the tools I carry on my utility belt. Lucius created the Tumblr too. It is an all-terrain vehicle. I painted it all black and gave it a new name, the Batmobile. It helps me go just about anywhere. Lucius... Lucius shows me a new invention. It is called the Bat. It can fly in between buildings. It can also hoover in one place. Bad guys have better beware. I rely on the Bat computer for information. It helps me track down bad guys. It can analyze chemicals, it can even scan fingerprints. When someone broke into my house and stole my mother's necklace, it identified the thief instantly. Catwoman. <clears throat> and even more right here, that I'll read to you. Using a tracking device on the necklace, I trace Catwoman to a party. To catch her, I leave the bad suit behind. Instead, I kill as my ultra eco billionaire Bruce Wayne. I dance with Catwoman, and I take the necklace back. Back at the Batcave, I learn that criminals have broken into the Stock Exchange building. I jump on the Batpod. It is a fast and sleek motorcycle. It travels quickly through the narrow streets of Gotham City. I arrive at the Gotham City Stock Exchange, and just in time, the criminal's name is Bane. He's the newest bad guy in town. Bane wants to destroy Gotham City, and he will, and he will stop at nothing to do it. Bane and his henchmen knocked out the security cards. They didn't want money, they wanted information. The gang escapes from the Stock Exchange. They zoom away on their motorcycles. I zoom after them on the bat pod. I pull out another new gadget. It is my EMP rifle. It fires an electromagnetic pulse that saps the energy out of any machine. When I get close enough, I take steady aim and fire. Zap! The pulse... The pulse kills their engines. Their motorcycles sputter and crash. But it's not over yet, the criminals want to fight. I'm an expert in martial arts. I've had years of training. I'm always ready for anything, or anyone. Minutes later, the police arrive. They're just in time to haul these bad guys off to jail. But Bane is missing. He must have escaped during the fight. I cannot let him get away. Bane's headquarters are deep underground. I have to go down into the tunnels. I will find him wherever he is hiding at. In order to keep Gotham City safe, I always rely on several things. 
my amazing tools and powerful vehicles. Make me a crime. My amazing tools and powerful vehicles make me a master crime fighter. Criminals, beware. More books featuring the Dark Knight for you to love. Anyways, they have Batman vs. Catwoman, uh, The Dark Knight Legend, uh, I Am Bane, the same thing, uh, sticker book, the scrapbook I saw, the design and draw, and that's pretty much it, you know, for that. But anyways, <clears throat> like I said, um, I'll just show you the MP blaster so you can see what it looks like anyways when Batman's using it. Um, so here it is, here's the EMP blaster, and what's different about this is, it actually in the movie trailers, or no, in the pictures for the movie, Batman's actually holding this thing, and it actually tries, it saps the energy out of anything, it like kills the engine, so anyways, when, you know, this is an EMP blaster, and when Batman uses it, it, it does kill the engines of anything, you know, like, the, the power, you know, it kills the power of the vehicle, so, you know, he actually uses this, and, you know, he tries, you know, to kill the power of the vehicles. So, it, like, kind of, you know, saps the energy out of any vehicles. And, like I said, it actually drains the energy out of them. But, anyways, um, like I said, um, Batman has actually seen using this on uh, many times. And, Batman actually uses this in the movie and actually in the pictures, like I said. And, he actually also uses this in many, uh, various trailers, but... When he actually does use this, um, when he's in the garage, he actually shows it to the criminals, and he's like, seen them, he just does it, you know, and he also does it, which is pretty nice, of course, because he never lets any bad guys or criminals get away from doing anything bad at all. So anyways, that's, uh, it for now, and, um, I hope you enjoy this, and, uh, stay tuned for even more, and, um, yeah, and I will see you all later, and now, I'm signing out.